Today's article was originally posted on the blog of the Office of the Chief Technology Officer for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. It was also posted on the Reinstrief Institute website, and the original article was titled IHS Modernization, Focus on the Patients and the Data Will Follow. That article was targeted to the context of the Indian Health Services Modernization Project in the United States and the American Indian and Alaska Native populations that Indian Health Services serves. The article you'll hear today, and which is posted on my blog, is that original article, but in a more generalized form towards healthcare in America. And I would like to thank Dr. Teresa Cullen for her assistance in writing this, as well as Dr. Adrian Baudry for his suggestions on the piece. Healthcare in America is a pairing of extremes. When ranked, the United States has some of the very best and the very worst healthcare metrics. Cancer survival remains the highest of any country, yet maternal deaths and infant deaths rank the worst of all developed nations. Americans are able to spend twofold more per capita on healthcare than the OECD average, yet still end up with one in four patients who underuse their life saving insulin because of costs. How can America develop an exemplary health system? What do patients, providers, payers, and the public? need to focus on in order to strengthen care in America. The treatment lies in fixing fragmentation. Part 1. Fragmentation with Patients and Caregivers Patients with chronic conditions experience the effects of fragmented care most acutely. They endure the worry of not knowing the next step in their care, the breakdown in communication between care providers, and the lack of continuity of care that results in lost paperwork, redundant testing, and poor outcomes. When patients and their care providers try to become more involved, they are often met with difficulty in obtaining their medical records. And this barrier exists despite a decade of evidence through the Open Oats trials that demonstrate the powerful benefits of permitting patients full access to their records. Part 2. Fragmentation with Providers Each year, healthcare becomes more complex as patients receive concurrent care from larger healthcare teams spread across an increasing number of facilities and providers. This expansion presents a pressing need for tools that improve communication, data exchange, and task distribution across an evolving healthcare ecosystem. Clinicians experience the effects of data fragmentation twice. First, inadequate advancements in data interoperability and exchange leave data stranded as patients move between care settings. And second, many electronic health record systems further fragment information across multiple tabs and windows through poor user interface designs. This leads to clinicians having a partial picture of the patient's medical story. Clinicians were optimistic that the electronic medical record would reduce administrative burden, improve the quality of their work, and allow them to provide better care. However, in many ways, the opposite has happened. And I highly recommend two articles, the first, Why Doctors Hate Their Computers, and the second, Death by a Thousand Clicks, where Electronic health records went wrong. We move to part three, fragmentation with payers. American healthcare markets are traditionally opaque and obfuscated in pricing transparency, making it difficult to compete directly on cost and quality. An optimal healthcare marketplace should prioritize generating health. And such a marketplace requires a high level of data transparency between the supply side and the demand side forces, as well as a stronger alignment of incentives between patients and payers. And fourth, we have fragmentation between the public and population health. Public health and population health 
cannot function in silos. Advanced public health tools such as the ability to predict and track disease outbreaks, public health threats, and drug side effects are only possible through the integration of semi-real-time aggregate data. Population health improvement with a focus on education, prevention, and high-value healthcare interventions requires linked data outcomes to measure the effectiveness and understand where the best interventions are. Healthcare fragmentation is not just a public health threat, but also an economic burden for communities as well as individual patients. Which leads to the last section on the opportunity of innovation. Patients and their families deserve seamless care during their times of sickness and in health. Health and health care follow individuals throughout their entire life. Medical records should too. This challenge presents a significant and honorable opportunity for entrepreneurs, innovators, and everyday citizens. Solutions must start with the patient and the community. The desire to provide high-quality, compassionate, patient-centered care must lead to information operations and logistic systems designed to support this goal. However, this high-empathy vision is only possible with novel and appropriate technology solutions. We must insist upon a care-first and patient-first medical record design. We must promote electronic health record technology and standards that prioritize data portability, access, population health and equity. The potential for advancements in clinical information systems to provide users with advanced clinical decision support will enable patients, families, and healthcare professionals to provide care with a new level of medical expertise, precision, and safety. Let's highlight the benefits to patients, providers, payers, and the public of human-centered health information systems and their ability to help build an integrated care system. If you're interested in this article, there's a number of embedded links within the text, which you can find on the blog gregoryschmidt.ca. And of course, if you have any feedback or suggestions, you can find my contact information on that website as well. Thank you.